Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Control. Now, we have to defeat Dr. Hartman once more again, and hopefully this time we do it right, yeah? Oh, all right. All right, now let's see if I can remember which of these sons of beaches to first. Right. This one. Just gotta stay out of the ass, flippity dickle yak. Bitch. Okay. Just gotta stay off the ground. Off the ground in the dark parts long enough to avoid his travesty. Ow! Shooting shit at me. Okay. It always gets more complicated the further we go. I'm so glad I have the Surge Gun, though, because this would be a lot harder if I didn't. That explosion radius is quite helpful. Fuck. Ah, hey, hello. You a genuine creepy-looking son of a bitch. Oh, hey, goodbye. Fuck off, Hartman. Yeah, you better get back. Don't think I don't see you. You! Shoot him for me! Be gone! Help! Oh crap, I don't have any shkubafel. And I won't have any until I get back in the light, god damn it. In the light, in the light, we must go into the light! God damn. Yeah, it's a hard fight. Okay. Alright. That's, what, two down? Wait, just two? Fuck. Damn, that second one was difficult. Oh, third one will be easier. Come at me, Brohemes. You make a nice distraction for Dr. Hartman while I destroy the orbs of nonsense. The dark cubes of doom! Alright, this one's like right next to the room, so it's pretty easy to deal with. Hey yo, Shayamba! I will take this, thank you! Ah! Alright, one more to go. And I swear to God, if I die now, I will be quite the angry. Bye-bye! Hey, hey, oh, get, ah, fuck. Went to pick up that health, and it was all for naught. Oh, 
shit. Ah, uh, stop shooting me with your doobly wapping. Fool. Okay, we're like literally right here. Right here. There we go. Goodbye, Moon Man. Peace out, bitch. That's right. I'm the director. And I only died twice. I need health bad. That was with like 80%. 80%? Damage reduction. Can you imagine if I was playing this the way it was meant to be? What am I doing? Map! Thank you. I don't want to go that way. Or do I? I guess maybe I do. But I will go that way after I'm done explorating in here. Now that I have the open freedom to do so, you see. Of course, I don't know if there's anything actually worth a damn. I don't really remember there being any, like, documents or recordings or anything like that in this room. It was mostly just a battle arena. If there is anything like that, it would be in here. But... Nah. Okay. Moving on, then. Maybe there is, and I'm not looking hard enough, but whatever. That's okay about me. All right, so now we need to go to active investigate back to active investigations and then the other way. And here we open up. There we go. Oh god, you're still Ever since here. I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different. Like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't still, want I don't to know brag. Why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race, and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just talk for I can always make it home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment, and she gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's mealtimes. She's probably gonna have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for Alfred's food. Okay. Oh, one more thing. And buy her a fruit arrangement. 
All right, done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. You'd like Alfred. He's very proper. Really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Didn't like me getting in her way, scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move her food bowl. That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that That's language is not harsh. entirely, um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most people, or animals, or anything. And that's what I meant when I said, asshole. I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to, uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston. Fucking finally. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I just let him go on because if I don't, every time I get in the elevator, he'll start the whole shit over because I interrupted him. And he insists on getting his story out, so I just let him get it out. Anyways, the next area we're going to is the FRA uh, Maro AWE. And this will take us to the next iteration of Hartman. We're going to be doing a big circle, as you can see. At the, if you look at the um, <clears throat> near the top right of the screen here, uh, that's the map we're going to. The yellow diamond is where we're going. So as you can see, we'll be going, uh, we'll be going north, uh, north, and then east, and then south, and then west, and back north again. We'll be doing a whole big circle. All right. No, oh, wait. Let me check. Okay. I just thought there might be things. Sometimes there are things. Uh, not there, there. I was an executive because they have the best snack machines. You may think they're all the same because of that plain white packaging, but there's a difference. You know those thick ruffled potato chips? They're my favorite. All the machines outside executive carry those flimsy little thin chips. They have no texture. I may as well eat cardboard. He's anyway, really I get back to the elevator and they issues, tell me the sector huh? is being evacuated. They wouldn't even let me go back in for my stuff. Can you believe that? I worked at that desk for years. I had photos on it. My favorite stapler, one of those good ones that could staple a 50-page report, no problem. A little cash and some uh, personal recordings. But uh, yeah, they locked the whole area down tight. No one in or out. I wouldn't and then blame they you. Us all back to executive. If you fast forwarded through this shit. I wasn't even there when it happened and they were asking me if I noticed anything suspicious, if I saw anyone tampering with the containment cell and so on. Well, the only thing they learned was I prefer the ruffled chips to the non-ruffled ones. Better mouthfeel. Like I said before. And then after 3 hours of questions, they recommend we all go for trauma counseling. I was like, "No thanks, I have my own therapist." I know I could use the word therapist and save a few bucks, but I worry they're going to put anything I say in a file somewhere. A bit paranoid, I know, but I work for a secret government organization, so... Yeah. I stopped going a few years back. To my therapist, I mean. She said that a lot of my issues stemmed from a negative outlook. Of course, I can't tell her anything about what I do, so I just have to sit there and nod. I kept waiting for that big aha moment. You know where I realized that my need for approval stems from my dad or something? Turns out therapy doesn't work like that, so I stopped going. TV really gives you a skewed understanding of these kind of things. She did help me realize that I'm processing stress in an unhealthy way. I try not to carry all that around with me anymore, but it does stack up. Hard to just say no thank you to the anxiety buzzing in your head. One really I know that thing feeling. she had me do was find a creative outlet. I started doing some experimental music slash poetry that I think was really ahead of its time. This was years back. I'm cooking up some pretty new sounds these days. 
Think my bleeding clock meets Sylvia Plath. I Do you am play so any instruments? curious. Well, I yet can see you so being concerned. a guitarist, maybe a bassist. It's funny, I played the tuba in high school band. My favorite was In the Hall of the Mountain King. Tuba didn't get a lot of spotlight in most of the songs Mrs. McKinley chose, but Mountain King was my time to shine. Bum 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 Ah, classic. I've moved on to less mainstream instruments now, but the tuba will always be a part of me. What were we talking about before? Right, the evacuation. Yeah, I heard afterward that the Hartman specimen had gotten loose and killed some staff. They had me digitizing records in some dark corner of the sector, so I didn't know a whole lot about the Bright Falls investigation at the time. It's a strange case. Most AWEs are one and done, but Bright Falls has pretty regular flare-ups. Three incidents since 1970 when we first started tracking it. I got really interested when I heard Alan Wake was involved with the latest occurrence. I'm a huge Wake fan. I love the Alex Casey novels. That over-the-top, hard-boiled detective thing is right up my alley. Wait. They're making a movie of the series. It can't the be a coincidence that I saw him in a motel. In his voice, you know? I is remember he being drawn so here by the investigation? When Wake killed off Casey in the books. It's not a huge surprise, though. Wake sounded like a bit of a dick. Drank too much, fought paparazzi. The tabloids even said he was an abusive husband. So, yeah, troubled artist and all that. Apparently, there were chapters of an unfinished manuscript floating around after Wake disappeared. People say they're cursed, which is a very discriminatory term against altered materials, by the way. The forums all call the unfinished book Departure, because Wake kept saying it would be a departure from his previous work. I found some pages that are supposedly the real deal on the internet. It's pretty dark stuff. He was going full horror, which makes sense, since he used to write for Night Springs, but... I would have preferred if he did something a little lighter. I've always said Wake had a great instinct for humor. Hey, did you know we own Night Springs? Yeah, the Bureau bought the rights after the original series ended. I've sent some story suggestions to the production team, but apparently they are not accepting pitches at this time. Typical. I'd be a great addition to their team, right? Huh. I didn't see you nod. Is this thing not on? Oh, Let me check. it's definitely on. Ugh. Okay. Oh, the wires down here. Huh. Oh, it looks like it should be working. Hello? If you can hear me, uh, shoot something. Uh, that was inconclusive. You shoot so often, it's hard to know when it's intentional. There also could be a delay on this video feed. Uh, maybe the system just needs a reboot. This is a good opportunity to use a restroom anyway. Stay safe, ma'am. Uh, you guys are going to escort me, right? Okay, good. Ironically enough, most of the jabbering that he was doing was a good opportunity for you guys in the audience to use the restroom. <laughs> uh, but also... <clears throat> I hope you didn't take my advice and skip through that because some of the shit that he said near the end actually was important to the uh, to the overall Alan Wake story. But of course, you have to listen to a bunch of uninteresting bullshit to get there. But it's kind of worth it to get all the Alan Wake related stuff at the end there. Hurt my buddy. That's okay. I got a new one now. Upgraded. Oh, the darkness. Piss off. Okay, so... Hmm. I need a light source. 
I didn't see one in here. Oh, it's right here. Cool. First you. Alright. And then you, because you're the one in the way of progress. And anything that stands in the way of progress must be taken down. Okay. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Taking the light with me, because I don't know. Taking the light. Da da da. Taking the light. I'm taking the light. Yeah, I'm taking the light. Hmm. Aha, you see? Back down, clown! Where'd my light go? I need that in here. Because I need this out here. Ah, fuck. There's more darkness. Oh, shit! Explodey fucks. Yo, I'll be with you in a second! Cool. Damn, look at those particle effects, Jesus Christ. Okay, ooh, button. Yeah, the elevator don't have a monster coming out of it this time. There's still darkness around here somewhere. Something. Got a couple of documents or something over here. Oh, the arcade cabinets. Those ones that we saw before where you can do the challenge maps and stuff or replay like really cool parts of the game. Whoa. Oh, the light broke. Yep. Damn it, indeed. Oh, I remember this. Annoying puzzle. Fuck, that's not what I wanted. You. Come here. Ah, just a little more to the left, you say. I, uh... Oh, that's right. I need another one. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I remember now. We have to share. It's all about sharing. You're sharing! Okay. So a little bit to the left, then. That's too far. Come back. Stop. All right. Let's see if that's the right spot! Yay! Alright, well, that was just to get this item, which I probably can't carry anyways. Oh, well, I got one of them anyway. Alright! Now, I have it! You go in here. And moving along, moving along, moving along. When it gets right inside that yellow box right there is when we're going to stop it. That's the spot. And good. Oop. Might have waited just like a second too late, but that's okay. Ah! And boom. And that opens that up. And now, but damn, 
And the exit is to us. Congratulations, we did it. That was a relatively simple puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless. All right. Now let's move on. Deeper into Spooky Town, son of a bitch. Oh, this part's not good. Hartman's back. Hey, hearty boy. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna run between light and avoid the shit out of you, okay? Right. Bam! Crunch. Alright. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, fuck, the lights flicker! In here to fight this thing. No shit. That's why we have to run from light to light. This part's like a legit horror part where the monster is creeping around in the dark and you have to avoid it. Your guns are useless. Your guns are useless! The bullets! They do nothing! Oh my god. <laughs> Laugh about it. Oh shit. No! 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 This game is fucking with me. Oh, could you imagine trying to do this without the telekinetic superpowers and shit, though? Hey! Oh! Ha ha ha! Hey, hey, oh. Am I going the right way? Ah, that's where I was supposed to go. I was like, where the fuck does this thing exist at? Haha! -ha! Once again, the light is our friend. As they taught us in the Kingdom Hearts, the power of light and friendship will conquer the things. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, look at that. It looks all mystical and spooky up ahead, doesn't it? And that's the way we need to go. Hello, the hissy boys. I see you down there. Bam! Oh yeah. Just all of the day's work for the director of the bureau. Ain't nothing but a thing. You know we have all the powers now, right? And we're close enough to the end of the main story that that's, you know, that's the key. Oh look, an audio log. I think we will. But first I'm gonna let this bridge have a go. Oh, there's definitely bad guys in here. Shit. Well, fine. Explode, why don't you? Oh, there's a snipey boy. Shit. Haha! -ha, kaboom! Snipey boy ain't no match for three explodey booms at once. Alright, where is the healing orb of fuck nugget? Also, I forgot the bridge gets stopped and you have to unblock it. That's right, just blow yourselves up. Shit. Where is it? Oh, there you are, you little coward. Ooh. 
These guys are getting harder to kill, ain't they? Major pain in the ass. Big old major pain in the ass. All right then. Aha! There we go. That'll learn you. All right, now go blow yourself up and kill all three of you at once. Or are you glitched? I think they're glitched. All right, fine. Oh. There's the source of my issue. I think they just keep coming until the bridge stops moving, so... Oh, hey, it's the creepy Silent Hill one in the floating chair. What's up, buddy? Yeah. You stuck again? Ouch! Jesus Christ. I almost just died again. Why? Get to work. Almost bad. Okay, now we can listen to this audio log in peace. Okay. We're okay. We're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand. Jelly, where are you from? Jumbo Grant. Up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly. Dirt arrange you. Why are you here? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing, boy boy. Eyes many cauterizing loops through and about. Wind and Windy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. <laughs> oh, that's what Spider-Man should start saying when he jumps into action. Spider time! Okay, I'm sorry. No, that thing is... Okay, I forgot about him. Yeah, we're gonna run into him too, although the unfortunate thing is that we'll never get to see what he looks like, but there is like a side quest where we can... we help him out by finding an item he's looking for. But he talks just like that. That's his way of saying things and stuff. All right, this is the whole reason we moved the bridge, because we need that light to point at this door here and get the darkness out of the way so we could move on. And now we're in shifted objects. Ooh. Hmm, looks like we need another... Shkidafa Youngus! I'll take you. Wah. And what's this? Ooh, it's a secret room. Not really much of a secret. It's just... Oh, it's a light. Oh, thank you. I do suppose I needed that, didn't I? Had to get through this door somehow. There is a secret bathroom around here somewhere, though. I can't remember if it's in this DLC or if it's in the... Um... Oh, my God. Hey, it's Hartman. He just killed a hiss. What's up? Looks like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. They yep. did call him the third thing. 
Ah, yes. Hartman is the number three, like when you have to pee and poop at the same time. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. Oh, Langston. <laughs> My mother always said, never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Never. Always. Never. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. Err. Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot bite. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack. 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 So, um, yeah. I'm just going to... How about that? Langston is a fool. A chain letter. But he made a good point. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Another side quest. Better do what it says. You know, just in case. Yeah, but what if I don't want to? Shaded Hartman. This is worth reading. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of the shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by, or procedures, a redacted of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This redacted also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even, even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains redacted to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the redacted AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. Right. Um, what was the other on red one? The chain letter. Oh, right. Oh no, this spooky man... The Spooky Man letter has found you. The Spooky Man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you will be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter, and the Spooky Man ate her cat. Terrence in Greenstone did not send the letter, and the Spooky Man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter, and now his wife eats dinner alone. Linda did send more letters, 30 in total so far, and look at her now. She owns three cars. She has all her fingers. She speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurry. Yes, normally that kind of thing is bullshit, but in this place, you can't be too careful, right? Also, the arcade cabinets. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppress their, their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Items are a pair of arcade cabinets, originally designed for the game Shum and Shum 2. The games were manufactured by Bonko Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in, J arcade game in Japan during the late 80s slash early 90s, no other Shum cabinets have been found by our investigators. 
When touching one of the items, while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficiency are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. How fun. Missions. Okay. okay, all right, moving on. Send me a ranger. Director Faden here. I need a ranger dispatched to my position. All right, I see you, ranger. Let's do this. Hey, yeah. What in the fuck? Oh, it's the vending machine. It's the altered item vending machine. Really don't have time for that right now, do we? Not while fighting these bastards. I don't even know what the deal is with the vending machine, to be quite frank. Oh my god. Slow down. Something. Oh, my ranger friend is still alive somehow. Good. Gotta have friends in high places, and by that I mean control enemies that fly. Always helpful. Especially when they won't stop spawning. Come on, you shielded bastard. good, but I'm better. Bitch! Come on. Got him. Alright, I think we're done with that nonsense now. Now, where's that stupid vending machine? Because I really have no idea what the hell that's all about. I don't even know where it went. Oh, look, another Night Spring screenplay!
It just disappeared. Oh well. It's probably one of those things that I have to wait for it to come back later. And, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's just move on. So, let's probably just open that the normal way, I guess. Oh. Oh, good. More mold. Anything, like, noteworthy in here, though? These are not rooms I was able to explore in my original playthrough because I failed to do the mold mission before the Alan Wake mission. You know, I was stupid and put it off. No AC, no upgrades for circulation. But it oh. might get a bit stuffy in here. Okay. Well, I mean, that does that. Alright. Now we just have to get to... Oh good, more darkness. Uh... There's Hartman again, and hey, you see that, um, you see that satellite? It looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? To me, I think it's the one that crashes into that town when you, uh, in Alan Wake American Nightmare, in the first level. F.R.A. Moro. Alright, so what else is new? This is an easy one. Grab this document for reading later. All right, I am here, yes. Gotta follow the light. Thank you. Very useful. This this light. Okay. Oh, that's so far away. I don't think I can hit that from here. I have to be careful of which way I go with what, because this will take it back over there, which is not where I really want to go. And this will take me over there, which is where I do want to go. Hello, satellite thing. This is actually part of another Altered World event. It's not the one from Alan Wake's American Nightmare, although it looks like it. We'll read the document about it later, though. Hey, look! Tractor. That's the holding cell for the weird guy. Hey, Hartman! Bam! Alright, so that takes care of that. Although everything is not quite peachy yet. You see, we need to get that one over there, and that requires moving the light again. So, here we go. And of course, this was just to turn that light on. Yeah, get the fuck away. We just gotta do a big circle to get what we need out of this. Alright, time for another circle. I wish I could make it move faster. But I can't. Okay. 
floating is so cool. Alright. Shablinga! Alright. So that opens up the elevator over here, which, wait a minute, before I do that, let me go inside here. I know there's something. Yep. Another document. All right. Now up here is where I turn the lights on in this room. This should be like our final confrontation with this guy. Or maybe not. No, there's one more. We do have to eventually take him down, like, permanently. There. One less place for him to hide. Gerbil took the top head. Oh, right. That would be what's-his-face down here. With his weirdness. Yes, we will take care of that in a minute. Oh, we have to make sure we go back out here to do that. So... Wee! Oof. So that'll be something we deal with. Yes, B. Worry who? C to C. Yeah, that guy. But that'll be something that we deal with in the next episode because I'm actually getting ready to end this one. We're getting close to that time, and there are a few things in here that we can um that we can look at, but I'll check all that in the beginning of the next episode. We got the, another showdown with Hartman out of the way. And ultimately, that was the goal. Shit. Well, I wasn't going to get up there. I was trying to Skyrim my way up there, but never mind. But anywho... So that'll be it for this episode. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a like. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.